blood type. What is blood type and why is it important? Well, blood type refers to the presence or absence of specific antigens or proteins on the surface of your red blood cells. The blood types, they include A, B, AB, and O. Why is this important? Well, blood type is important because your blood can only receive certain blood types. It will reject anything that does not recognize. So it might see anything that comes in from the outside of the body as a pathogen, and hopefully it won't see its own cells, such as a red blood cell, as, as an enemy. So receiving a blood transfusion or organ transplant from someone with a different blood type can mean life or death, because your body may reject it. So how do you explain this on a cellular level? Well, check out the chart in front of you. I will circle the blood types as we go through them. On the surface of your blood cells are these surface antigens. And let's go through blood type A. Your surface antigens on blood type A are labeled in green here. And blood type A contains what we call blood type A antigens. Because they contain A antigens, they will reject anything dissimilar. And so therefore they de develop antibodies against anything that is not like blood type A. Therefore, blood type A produces anti-B anti, anti -B antibodies. Okay, So therefore, blood type A cannot donate to or receive from blood type B. Okay? If that happened, there would be a terrible blood clot and this person could ultimately die. So the same goes for blood type B, of course, because blood type B has anti-A antibodies. Simply because it has B antigens, it wants to defend itself against anything that it does not recognize. So it is anti-A antibodies. And these anti-A antibodies, if they came into contact with blood type A, would coagulate and therefore develop a clot and perhaps lead to death. No good. Moving on. The next two blood types are somewhat special. Blood type AB. Blood type AB has both antigen proteins on its surface. You can see antigen A and antigen B. So what kind of antibodies will it produce? Well, it won't produce any antibodies. Why? Because if it produces antibodies, or anti, such as anti-B or anti-A, it would attack itself. Okay? So blood type AB is sometimes called the universal acceptor because it can accept donations from blood type A, blood type B, and blood type O without any harm. Blood type O, last but not least, is special because it actually has no antigens on its surface. So what kind of antibodies does it produce? It actually produces anti-A, sorry, anti-B, anti-A, those are anti-B, anti-A, um, and obviously that would attack any antigens that, um, sorry, any red blood cells that had AB. So it's going to defend itself against all these other types. So does it want to accept any types of blood? No way. It would, it would um, result in clumping. But blood type O is sometimes called the universal donor because you guessed it, it can donate its antibodies to any of these other types of blood groups because it would not be attacked. There are no antigens to attack in blood type O. So there's more than one type of um, blood than what's indicated in this picture. There's also something called the rhesus factor. You may have heard of the fact that you could be type A positive or type A negative. The rhesus factor 
is um, only dangerous um, in the event that you're pregnant, a woman is pregnant, um, for the second time with a positive fetus. So the mother is negative and the fetus is positive. The first time the mother is exposed to a positive fetus, nothing will happen. But the second time, the mother will actually develop antibodies against the fetus's blood. And um, unless avoided with intervention by a doctor, this can result in actually killing the fetus. So do you know what type of blood you have? You could probably determine your blood type by using a simple monohybrid cross if you knew your parents' blood types. Or simply go get a blood test to find out.